everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on Osmanthus perfumes. I'm gonna be letting you know the history origins of Osmanthus and the best Osmanthus perfumes out there, including my favorite Gucci Flora. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I am doing a series of these videos around different perfume notes, the history origins, as well as the best um, perfumes with those notes in. So let me know any other suggestions you want me to do in the series. And if you're a regular viewer, then do check to see if you're subscribed. You can turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos and you can also sign up to my newsletter down below in the description box where I'll also leave the link to where you can buy the perfumes I talk about in UK, Europe, North America, Australia where they're available. Cool, so Osmanthus might not be a flower that you've heard of that you're familiar with. It's not one that's talked about as much as, you know, rose, jasmine, tuberose, all the sort of popular fragrance ingredients. Um, Osmanthus is, um, I think, quite underrated. It's a really beautiful flower. There are lots of varieties of it, but the one that's used in perfume um, is a tree that can grow up to like 20 feet tall and it originates in China and now it's still mainly grown in China. It's I believe grown a little bit in Japan and Malaysia as well but in terms of the growing for perfumery and the harvesting that's all done in China and it's a fragrance and flower that is relatively well known in China. It's on stamps, even Pepsi did an Osmanthus Pepsi and it has been for thousands and thousands of years. There's even a town which is called like Forest of Osmanthus. So technically it sits within the olive tree and violet family um, but it doesn't smell like either of those and even though it's a flower, floral scent, um, it can actually smell quite like a apricot and almost like a peachy fruity scent. So sometimes when it's used Used in fragrance people think that it's peach or apricot this in there um, and it's not it's it's osmanthus it flowers for about 10 days and then when it's picked in china it's actually put in brine water salt water um which kind of like freezes it keeps the smell and then it can slowly be turned into um concrete which is a sort of perfume extract is when you take the flowers you run them through different processes, chemicals to extract the scent and it produces like a, a wax or a sort of hard concrete at the end. And then that's then mixed with alcohol to make an absolute, which is used in perfumery. But when it's in the concrete form, you know, it can be shipped around the world. Um, it's easier than having it with the alcohol in. So I personally first discovered Osmanthus in Gucci Flora, which is one of my all time favorite fragrances, Gucci Flora Eau de Parfum. And you probably know, I've talked about it quite a few times that this is now discontinued. I have still find it in a few shops online. I'll leave the links down below. There's still some on Amazon. So I just stocked up and got another one, but they are getting more and more expensive. For me, this is just such a beautiful perfume. I absolutely love it um, and I'm so gutted it's been discontinued. Now they just have those gorgeous gardenia and the new gorgeous jasmine ones with Miley Cyrus. They're much sweeter. And I think it's the best example of an Osmanthus perfume because Osmanthus really is the star of the show. It's a relatively delicate scent and sometimes can be lost and overshadowed. Whereas in Gucci Flora, they've really made it a star. Gucci Flora has a kind of slight greenness quite peachy feel to it and whenever I wear it I get compliments people ask what I'm wearing so yeah I'm so gutted it's been discontinued so I really recommend if you do like Gucci Flora to get one before it goes you probably know that I'm making my own fragrance Empress if that goes well I'll be making more like I'll be doing a whole range um so maybe my next one might be an Osmanthus one and now that Gucci Flora has been discontinued hmm. Just a little hint there. So other options for Osmanthus lovers, L'Occitane do an Osmanthus range. They have the Eau de Toilette, but they also have body products, soaps, 
and they have a new like perfume gel which I'm waiting to arrive and um, which looks really cool. I do like these other ways of putting perfume on rather than with alcohol in a spray um, because I find they last better on my skin. So this is an eau de toilette so it's a relatively light osmanthus. I think if you do like osmanthus you would say you know get the body products in this range to layer the osmanthus scent and then finish it off with the eau de toilette. I think the eau de to toilette alone is good for you know if you're in very hot weather you don't want anything too heavy but it is relatively light it's probably the lightest out of all these i'm talking about today but it does smell of osmanthus it's a little bit fresher much lighter than gucci flora but it is an osmanthus smell aqua de palma have an osmanthus fragrance this is an italian fragrance brand and um, it's simply called aqua de palma osmanthus and um, this is probably the closest to gucci flora it's a bit greener um and it doesn't have some of the more peachiness of gucci flora and it's not as heavy but it is pretty it definitely has that same osmanthus vibe is gucci flora it's quite pricey you know we're talking over like 100 pounds so more expensive than gucci flora but i think this is the closest i've been able to find if you're not able to get your hands on gucci flora anymore salvatore ferragamo also have a osmanthus fragrance called signorina eleganza and um, one of the versions of their signorina perfume this one kind of reminds me of Gucci Flora mixed with Coco Mademoiselle. So at first I get some of the Osmanthus, but then it, as it fades down, it literally turns into Coco Mademoiselle for me. So if you are a fan of Coco Mademoiselle, definitely recommend trying this out as a like cheaper alternative. It's a bit of a dupe in the dry down. Yeah, it's definitely very similar, but it's like Coco Mademoiselle with the Osmanthus added. But you can get these at really good prices, like 20 something, 30 something pounds. They're really affordable, the Salvatore Ferragano fragrances. I do have an article that goes through all the different versions of these as well, so I'll leave that link down below. There is also an Osmanthus in the Atelier Cologne range. I know they've withdrawn from the US, but I'll see if I can find any links to it for, for the US. Um, I think they might be going back into the US though, I'm not sure, maybe like a relaunch. But it's called Love Osmanthus and even though it does have Osmanthus in, it's not the main note and um, it's quite a citrusy fragrance, which is why I don't have it. Like a lot of the Atelier Cologne fragrances, very citrusy. So it really is like a lemon and then there's an Osmanthus underneath. So it's not the star of the show in the way it is in the Aqua de Palma one, the Lox Tan, and Gucci Flora, of course. Yeah, so there's not a huge amount of different Osmanthus fragrances. It's relatively rare, I think because it's quite a delicate scent. But yeah, I'd love to create an Osmanthus perfume in the future, so watch this space. Um, but we haven't had Empress yet, so <laughs> one thing at a time. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Let me know um, what your favourite is from the Osmanthus different perfumes. Do you like Gucci Flora like me? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I do have an article actually um, that goes through everything I've talked about here, the links to where you can buy these perfumes. So I'll leave that link down below in the description box as well. Uh, but that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.